Off rips. Are y'all are y'all are y'all tap are y'all smashing? Are y'all smashing? Two, three. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> she's like a quirky cute. Yeah, she's like a quirky cute. She said I need that. Hi, my name is Srishti. I'm currently a junior at UCLA, majoring in human bio and society. Physically, I think I definitely learned what suits me best as far as like make. Isn't human bio like hard? Makeup and hair and how to dress, but emotionally, as I came into myself, I kind of learned that I am my own no, person not her, and I get to have like my own oh. identity. <laughs> 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 I don't need her, I need the social I'm feeling a little right. nervous, but good. So excited. <laughs> hey, no homo, no homo. I'm gonna pick who I think is gonna be the best looking out of all these dudes. Pause, pause. I'll give him with the hoodie. He got the most drip. I can't really see him. I'll give it to him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, oh. it's a good it's a good foundation. I feel like they can really work up with these photos. Yeah, no going wrong. Okay. I really like all of them. Where's the Most black people at? There's not a single black person here. Studious vibes. Okay, first person. He seems really happy and I kinda dig in the haircut. <laughs> yes and no. Can you tell me what you're doing in this picture? It's the Rockin' Rapids, I believe. Okay. Um, I was a vacation with my family, so okay, nice. yeah. person two, you seem so smart and like put together. So I did like this family photo shoot and okay. then some of my pictures uh. were just myself. And that was when I was in like eighth grade. Mm. So I was like 14. So okay. yeah, tragic. Love it. Okay, number tragic. three. Oh wow, okay. I feel like this is like middle school era because I see the lockers in the back. This picture I'm actually uh, my freshman year of high school. So that was okay. my first day. He's like me, I was short as, when I was in high school, I was five foot one. And in the picture I have my friend in there and you know, I was looking pretty rough. No, 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 no. 10 out of 10. Great first day look. Okay. Number four. He's not really smiling, so I feel like maybe it's like an off duty. He looks older in this. How does he glow up? He looks so older. I like it. So this was actually in high school. Funny. He's about to look like some TikTok anime or TikTok um, Asian dude. Watch. He's about to have the watch. He's Sorry gonna be, about it's this gonna be saucy. Though, as fuck. I don't know if it was be edited saucy. or not. Because I could have sworn <laughs> I saw him make my forehead a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll but, give you that one. But, we'll say but it's edited. That might Don't just worry. be cope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. Okay, very serious. I feel like it's a very odd. He has a mustache. He probably just lost weight. He probably lost weight and he I'll got in the gym. Picture, but I like it. So this was kind of like a after class uh, thing with my classmates. Okay. We went to get some pizza and that mm -hmm. was like a, again, like you said, avant-garde picture yeah. or off-guard picture. I was not prepared for that at all and not my brightest <laughs> moment either. No, I but... like it off-guard. We like it. <laughs> I really like the last one at the beach. I feel like that person is very spontaneous and playful. I was having the best time. So uh, <laughs> me and my mom, my sister went on a vacation here to California and we actually Ooh, had this amazing thing. experience where we had like a sand cap Castle builder, come on, teach us how to make an awesome sandcastle. Okay, did you win? Did you like do really Oh, well? I mean, Nailed my sandcastle it. was the best. That's why I'm so happy. You see it. <laughs> yeah. I was living life. So I'm gonna have you. Damn, she gotta patch somebody up. Person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. They all seem so great. Okay, I think I'm gonna eliminate person one because I'm not the biggest fan of roller coasters. So just going off of that. Watch, this is about to be a gem, bro. It's because he looked like a geek in this. Like, let's be fair. Uh, but you seem great, so I'm excited to see you. <laughs> Pre-sell, pre-sell. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you as well. Okay. Cassie. Cassie, nice to nice meet you. Cassie, yeah. I really like your... That's awkward. Oh, never. The jacket. Thank thing. you. I felt like, like a vampire. A good suiting color for me. Yeah, it does. Thank Matches you. the complexion. You have a good night. Good I luck, look like boys. <laughs> <laughs> Not the voice crack. Oh my god, that's freaking embarrassing, bro. I'd I'd off myself in GTA. Yeah, man. Uh, contestant number two. What is one attribute that you like about yourself that's not physical? I would say I'm funny. Funny. Like, okay. Yeah. Humor. Tell me a joke. Go. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any jokes on oh, hand. I just told shut the fuck up. Okay. That it's funny. My tone. But laugh. everyone says I'm funny. That like my close friends, my family. Okay, I'll give you a pass. Don't worry. <laughs> Contestant number two. So I know this is like freshman year of high school, you said. What is one piece of advice you would like give yourself in this moment in time? <sighs> one piece of advice I'd probably give myself is You're him. don't stress it. I know during freshman year, I was really like insecure because yeah, I was looking pretty rough, I can't lie. Um, but yeah, just keep going through the phases, let life do its thing and 
just enjoy freshman year a little bit more than I did, yeah. Okay. Contestant number three. Um, I know you're outdoors here, so would you say you're more like spontaneous and like naturey, or do you think you're the type of person who likes to stay in? I think I'm more of a person who likes to stay in. Um, okay. In terms of outdoors stuff, the most I would Valor do would TikTok be go on a hike or something. Okay, sounds good. Because said indoor, Contestant I was number being Contestant number five. What is one piece of advice you would give yourself in this moment in time? Well, just live life for yourself. Don't let people tell you things how you perceive them. This too shall pass and the world is not perfect. So just enjoy yourself, take it slow, but don't be afraid if things don't go your way. I really like the take it slow part. I feel like I tell myself that every single day. Uh, yeah. Number five, or number six. I know you're at the beach right here, but what is your favorite place or like favorite thing to do in your free time? Oh, favorite thing to do. Um, I'm a homebody to be honest. I like staying in. I like just relaxing, making food. I've taken cooking Fortnite sweat. <laughs> classes for four years. So I like cooking. Cooking and, classes. Yeah. Okay, what's your go-to meal? Oh, my best meal I can make, I can make like a mean spaghetti carbonara. Ooh, so okay. I have high expectations for you now. You should, skills. you should. What advice would you give your younger son? Everybody swear they can cook. And then when they say they, type, they can cook, they cook some type of pasta, bro. In the fucking kitchen, learn to cook. Real meal. Okay, so all these guys stole all the good ones, but uh, <laughs> it's fine, we're chilling. Um, at that time in my life, I should have just enjoyed time with my family more, because now I've moved away, from, I'm 6,000 miles away from home. Uh, so I think Damn. if I could go back, I would just enjoy the company of my sister, my mom a little more, and just because now I took it for granted having them around back then. Okay, I have a follow-up question. How often do you call your mom? Um, I would say I call her about like, once a month. Once a month, okay, <laughs> okay. Time difference, time difference is the reason. Oh yeah, no, 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 for Nine sure. hours, No, nine no, hours. I completely believe you, don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have you eliminate two people this round. Two, two. okay. Yeah. So the first person I'm eliminating Yo. is contestant number four. And it's because he said he doesn't like to go hiking, but I'm a huge outdoor person because of that reason. I think that's why he's gonna be eliminated. Pretty handsome TikTok man, watch. He's about to have dangly earrings, tattoos, the little patchy ones, watch. <laughs> Hi, it's so nice to, nice meet, to meet you. you. Oh I'm my God, your fit is so good. Thank you, I appreciate it. I Boy, like your fit too, yeah. Thank you, we're kind of like. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna suck at this. The second person I'm gonna eliminate is probably contestant number six, even though I love talking to you. I am just not a homebody. I'm very like extroverted and I love doing things outside and I know you're kind of like more of a relaxed person. Oh, no, nah, they got the love music. I know I'm saying this for everyone, but I did say, oh, let's see. Let's get it out. Oh, this man looks nice like a million to meet bucks. You. Max? Yeah. His outfit hard. Okay, nice to meet you. I love talking to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love talking to you too. <laughs> Thank you. I, I gotta call my mom some more. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it was the one that. month thing, definitely. It wasn't the whole for me, thing. Uh, yeah. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Why you look in love, bro? Yeah. I just feel so bad. They're all so amazing. I feel like I can't lose. You know, it's a win-win situation for me. <laughs> um, so contestant She's fake number nice. Two. I hate girls like her. What is? the biggest thing that you look for in a relationship or a partner? Their personality, because I'm very like satire. My humor is like very satire, very like, I make a lot of jokes, so they have to have the same kind of energy as me. Okay, like being witty. Yeah, yeah, being yeah, witty. Yeah, being able to handle the heat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. What do you she love most him. about like hiking and she like likes going him. outside? She likes to him give a you a little bit of contact, for a really long time I was like, no, I hate being outdoors. However, this summer I was in Hawaii and there was this one really, really, really hard hike and all of my friends bailed. And they were like, oh, actually, I think I'm gonna sleep in. So I did the hike by myself, but I think that's like one of the moments I felt most proud of myself because I realized it's like a mental game, right? Like you uh. are in constant battle with yourself. Like, hey, should I just go back? Should I quit right now? Should I keep going? Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I really admire about it. And now it's like learning a bit more about myself every single time I go on a hike. Mm -hmm. Your friends are so fake for that. I know, can I drop them? <laughs> oh. I, that's what I would do. Contestant number three. Why did your last hard. relationship end? Damn. Did I hit a nerve? <laughs> uh, my last relationship ended because uh, she cheated on me. So oh no! This this globe had a uh, something to do with oh, that. Oh yeah. So, yeah, everything happens for a reason. Jimbo, <laughs> what's one red flag about you? 
about me. Okay, oh, I'm gonna expose myself right now. I'm super duper like hyper independent because I'm super like career oriented. And I think because of that, oftentimes in a relationship, if the guy starts getting a little bit too clingy, I will automatically shut down and like block them off. Yeah, all right, all right. good, good. <laughs> Contestant number five. What is one time you've been deeply hurt and how did you learn from that lesson? Oof, uh, most likely my uh, previous relationship because it was almost uncalled for. Uh, but I did learn that you can't let one person who is in your life for such a long time really drag you down, whether they're in it or not. Mm -hmm. So I kind of started going towards a creative outlet and now I make music, I do videography, I do basically a little bit of everything to expand my horizon a little bit. How important is family to you? I, I, I kid you not, I FaceTime my parents like five times a day, but like oh, for yeah. two minutes, like I'll be like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So just like giving them updates and like making sure like they know where I'm at. Mm. Yeah. All right, that's good. One more question, what are she your She worried more about her parents than her love life. Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, mine, I mean, it's obviously like, cheating uh, and then the second one I think it's just like how they act towards their own family that's what they're probably gonna do to you okay. uh, red flag would probably be respect so like if they don't respect their parents or maybe their friends they're a little bit rude you know that's gonna bleed into a little bit of everything in their life and uh, you know Fakes. I don't really want to be a product of that. for me personally it's emotional immaturity because if we're all adults right now, so it would be really nice to be with a person who has their stuff in check, you know, because we're all busy, we have yeah. school, we have work. It would be nice to, you know, be able to balance all that out with a healthy relationship. He's getting packed up. Okay, uh, the first person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number three. <laughs> and I think it's because um, after I gave my red flag, I realized like you did have the best response. Yeah, all right, all right. Good, good. I think we might not be super compatible, so that's why. Damn, I called that. Hi. Hey. Oh my God, it's so nice to, nice meet, to meet you. What's your name? Victor. Victor, nice to meet you, Did Victor. You like my no, such a glow up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never like put two and two together. Yeah. Bro didn't yeah, grow though. He glowed up, but he didn't grow. Look at him. Talking to you. You too. You have a lot of good people behind. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. One more. Okay. Um. Okay. The person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number five. Um, I really like talking to you, especially about- I told like, y'all she was feeling that other dude, the other, super oh close my to your God, family, I called for it. me, um, I think my family life just operates very differently. Hi, how's it going? It's so nice to nice meet, meet I really like your outfit. Thank you, yeah. I like like the- Wouldn't have guessed, huh? I know, never, ever. <laughs> well, I like your outfit too. Thank it looks the so same. Nice I love talking to you. A little like skinnier, it. but he looks the same. I'm feeling a little nervous, more excited though. <laughs> Contestant number two, we're gonna have you walk around and come say hi. 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 Oh, so he's trippy. He's trippy. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you. you. Does that look like me? No. But I look like a different person. Yeah, a different person <laughs> completely. Wait, can you introduce yourself? Oh, no. yeah, sorry. My name's Aiden. Aiden, nice <laughs> yeah, to nice meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Official. My name's Aiden. Aiden, okay, yeah. perfect. Well, I actually love hiking and running outside so when guys brought, i nailed it <laughs> when you brought that up i was like oh, i'm gonna ask you about hiking because i always hike every weekend with my friends no way where do you I'm go the, i go to san diego so i love i love hiking so does my mom shout out mom <laughs> what do we think about his no it looks completely different i feel like you really like came into yourself yeah yeah because i feel like the outfit really just speaks volume no i said he was drippy he got a blazer on with ones on with those pants this fit is trash with the poofy ass stretch afro. This man fit sucks. This little stinks. I'm mad I even said this was a good outfit. This nigga outfit sucks ass. Like, oh, I'm so confident. I know my style. Uh, I like have my stuff together. Uh, my hair, like, I just. And his Jordan's crease. Trash ass outfit. Over COVID. The pandemic happened just for you. Oh. Yeah, just so the globe could happen. <laughs> I really like him. I feel like as far as personality goes, we're kind of like the same person from like humor and things that we like to do. So I'm really excited to get to know him more. I feel like I'm still this same person inside, but just the appearance is different. To me, a glow up is just like being more confident. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Do I look the same? No. No? no Completely no, no, no. different person. Yeah, it looks like you like did a skincare routine. Oh like, yeah. Over no, no, really? no. Yeah. Like, yeah, 100%. your skin looks flawless. That's the end of this video.